What is up, you guys? Or y'all? So, I am back. I am back. I am starting to feel a little bit better. Thank God. Um, I'll tell you. You don't realize how much a kidney issue can hurt until you have one. Whether it be kidney infection or kidney stone. My doctor couldn't even tell me whether or not it was a kidney stone or infection. She said she was pretty sure it was a kidney stone. But, yeah. I don't have a whole lot of confidence. Well, she wasn't even my doctor. She was the PA or whatever you want to call them. Um, taking a little trip. down to get some gas. Um, I do want to set some things straight. Last video I posted, I ended up taking down because, you know, getting a lot of negativity and I didn't I just don't want that on my channel um, everybody has their own right has their right to their own political views every one of you all have your own right to view politics the way you want to I have my right to view them the way I believe feel that they are I do fact checks. Um, some that really, I wouldn't say got to me, but it just kind of made me mad a little bit. Not that much, but I had somebody comment and say that I wasn't very smart and that or I seemed like I wasn't very smart and that um, and that I was backwards well let me just say something you can say what you want I know I am smart you don't graduate high school with one of the highest honors that you can graduate with and be dumb so, I, I, you can say what you want. I know the truth. I know I'm smart. Like I said, I graduated high school with one of the highest honors that you can graduate with. And I may even do a, a video showing the medal that I got when I graduated. Because I graduated with one of the highest honors that you can graduate with. Um... You know, it just gets to me that people think it's funny to attack people. People think it's funny to call people names. They think it's funny to just call, just bully. They think it's okay to bully. And it's not okay at all. You know, that's what causes a lot of people's depression because people in this world are so mean nowadays and yes I did call Nancy a disgrace but you know to me that's not uh, really bullying because you know her actions that she made was just ridiculous and and you know like I 
It said I do fact check. So I know the facts. I don't believe half the crap the news says because like I said, I do fact check. And almost 100% of the crap the news tells you nowadays is not really what's going on. They tell you what gets the most views. It's just like click clickbaiting on YouTube. Instead of them clickbaiting, they just tell you a bunch of lies. Because they, th they think that's what you want to hear. So that's what they tell you. And, you know... It's sad that our, our world has come to that, but that's the truth. And, you know, like I said, y'all can believe what you want to believe. I do fact check everything. Um, and like I said, most time, almost 100% of everything that the news said was a lie. And you know, I want to just put it out there. I'm not against uh, any race. But I will say, if you come to our country the way you're supposed to, you're an American. You're not you're not a illegal immigrant. It's, and, uh, you know, I will say, people want to get mad and all about family separations. You know, let me just say, do I think it's right no, not in a way. But, here's the thing. If one of us goes to jail, do we take our family with them? With us? No. We don't get to take our families. Would we want our families to go to jail with us? No. We want our, our kids, our family, to stay where they're at. So, you know, that this is my opinion on that on this whole family separation thing. Because I imagine that's one of the things why people called me not very smart. Um, you know, the people that were separated are people that are didn't go through the process of entry. They didn't go follow the laws. And, you know, to me, that's not fair to us Americans. If we let them just live their lives free, that's not fair to all the people that went through the process to be able to say that they are a U.S. citizen. That's not fair to the taxpayers. It's not it's not fair at all. And you know a lot of there there's some people that don't abuse the system. But a good amount of them abuse the system. They live off of tax money. They live off of off, off of all of our tax money. They live off of food stamps and all that. And you know, and the health care for everyone, that whole bogus thing, here's my part on that. The reason I call it bogus, one, our country cannot afford it. Two, If you're not legally here in our country, legally, what makes you uh, 
capable of having and what gives you the right to have insurance that you're not paying for all the taxpayers are paying for it you know it's if you don't pay taxes why should you if you don't pay taxes and you never have in your adulthood why should you get a free ride I mean if somebody wants to explain why they should get a free ride without being negative please feel free to in the comment section but I will put it out there. If your comments are negative in any way, attacking anybody, um, calling people stupid or any of that, your comments will be removed. I will not tolerate that. And I will say, I've had to remove quite a few of the comments because people's negativity. They think it's funny. They, I guess it makes them feel better about themselves. I'm just saying it's not affecting me. But I'm not going to have your comments on my channel bringing others down. The whole thing about the Nancy Pelosi thing, she committed a felony. Literally. She committed a felony. And, you know, if one of us committed a felony, they'd be on you. They wouldn't let you go. They wouldn't let you get away with it. And, by tearing up those legal documents. Yes, that speech was a legal document. A highly guarded legal document. It goes into the archives. Because she tore up that speech, it didn't go into the archives where it was supposed to. And, you know, that's not right that she was able, she was allowed to do that. Carrying up that speech was not making a statement on anything that Trump has done. It was a bold statement of how much she dislikes the president. The Democrats have proved it since day one. They've been trying to impeach our president. Our president that has made this country great for all races They've made, he's made it great for parents who have kids with tax credits. He's made it great with unemployment. I mean, I can just keep going on and on and on, but I'm, I know somebody's not going to agree with me. But if you can't see how the Democrats keep treating our president unfairly, well, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Politics don't really belong on my channel, but I had to clear that up. And if anybody is questioning 
about if I'm looking at the road while driving. Well, yes, I am. I'm not even really looking at the camera. I'm looking directly at the road. It just looks like I'm looking at the camera because the camera's pointed at me. But uh, my eyes are on the road as I'm talking to you. You know, I had a good buddy of mine, well, I wouldn't say good buddy, but we was friends. He, him and his sister and his mom and dad lived in my neighborhood. We went to school with each other. Uh, just recently he was in a bad car accident and, you know, it was because somebody wasn't, I guess, paying attention and they came across the middle and he swerved to avoid a head-on collision and when he swerved he lost control of his truck he flipped his truck several times he went through a telephone pole literally went through it snapped it right in half and, and, and all and Miracle, a miracle, he walked away with just a few scars. And thank God he was able to walk away. Because, I mean, He's still got a lot of life to live. So, thank God, God was with him. Somebody was watching over him and, you know, thank God he made it out alive. And I mean, his truck is definitely totaled look at that truck pictures of the truck and you think you, you can't help but just think oh my god you know I will say I'm not real real I'm not real religious I don't go to church but I do believe in God I do believe that there is a heaven And, yeah. So, I'm actually at the gas station right now. Let me flip you around. So, I'm at the gas station right now to get some gas. And... I'll get back on here after I get done pumping gas. Alright, you guys. So we got gas. And now I'm headed back home. Wish, wish gas prices were at, like they were in the, what they say they were in the 50s. But I don't think gas prices will ever be that low. 225 is still not that bad though. My car's got a Sixteen and a half gallon gas tank. I think it's either sixteen or fifteen and a half. I think it's sixteen and a half. Let me tell you, the two uh, what I just got gas for back there at two twenty five. It was like twenty six dollars. 
which isn't too bad. Granted, I come all the way to another state to get gas, which is really not that far from me. It's about 30 minutes. When you got gas in, in my area, it's like 259, and where I just got it, it's 220, 225. You can understand why I go to another state to get gas. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, it helps repair the roads. Well, <laughs> in my area, the roads are pretty rough, should we say. And it's in, in my county, Jefferson County, they claim it's the richest county in West Virginia but you know if, if we got all this money why are our roads in so rough shape and our roads are in rough very rough shape So that little red barn type house right there. I've actually been inside that house. Uh, my sister's ex mother in law lived there. She don't live there anymore, but it actually used to be a schoolhouse. way back in the day and I get I don't know why they, they closed the school but they claim it's haunted my sister will tell you it's haunted big time I mean my niece and my nephew used to tell me that they when they'd stay with their grandmother that uh, they'd see uh, spirits of little kids and all that. And, you know, I'm not. I do believe in in that that kind of stuff. I've actually witnessed stuff like that. Nothing at that house.
then we had, right after that, we all had a dream about her. I smell skunk. Hope it ain't on my car. I don't think it is, because I didn't hit one. But, uh... Right after that, we all had a dream about her, and we all had different dreams. It wasn't the same dream, or at least me and my dad had a dream. I don't know about my mom, but in my father's dream, uh, my grandmother. My dad said my brother, my older, oldest brother was in it, and my grandmother was in it. And in the dream, my grandmother supposed, my grandmother told my oldest brother that she was 16. Now that she was 16 years old in heaven again, and. And, uh, and my brother came and told my dad in my dream, or in his dream, that my grandma told him that he was, she was 16 again. So in my dream, in my dad's dream, uh, he told my grandmother, he goes, what do you mean you're 16 again? And she goes... Uh, in heaven, you go back to uh, the time of your life when you was the happiest. And the age when you was the happiest. And right after that, my grandmother told my dad, she goes, well, I have to go. And and right after that, we stopped seeing, uh, we stopped seeing the guy that was walking through our neighbor, our dining room, and we stopped seeing my grandmother. So, I do 100% believe in that kind of stuff. Um...
wish I could add, uh, I'll mean, have to try to add some music into the clips. Because, I mean, it's crazy how, I mean, I, I wish I could put music on the, the ride, because, I mean, I like music, but, well, I can't put music on due to copyright issues. I'd have some music playing, you guys. Y'all. But like I was saying, I, I had... They, they believe it was kidney stones. But they didn't really do a whole lot of testing to see if it actually truly was kidney stones. They did a ur urinalysis, and that was about it. Well, that was it, actually. They checked it for uh, bacteria, and, and they said it had blood in it, but...
I, I didn't, I'll tell y'all, I didn't know that there were so many YouTubers in my area, to be honest. I figured, oh, this is West Virginia. There's not going to be any other YouTubers in my area, but <laughs> I was wrong. There's like three or four YouTubers in my area. That's a first. It doesn't really make sense unless a dog has something wrong with him. It makes no sense to walk a dog if he's in a stroller. Which is what they are doing. They're walking a dog in a stroller. All right, you guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, thanks for riding with me. Uh, you know, today's racing, Daytona 500. If y'all NASCAR fans, go watch it. It's not sponsored video, but 
I, I'm a NASCAR fan, so don't watch it as much as I used to, but like I said. Like I said, NASCAR fan, go watch it. Hey, you guys, so I'm going to call it a day on this video anyways. And, yeah. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button down below. And keep watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. See ya. Another one bites the dust.